Hey guys, well, welcome to another video of mine, it's Kamal AA, and this is another Chelsea Transfer News daily video where I keep you guys up to date with all the latest Chelsea Transfer News and of course big, big reports, big publication regarding Dayo Upamakano, Jaden Sancho, of course, Roman Abama potentially having his visa granted. We're going to be discussing all the reports, all the publication, also what I've been told from my inside source regarding Upamakano. We're going to be discussing my thoughts on the player, my thoughts on the reports, if it's legit, if it's just rumours and would I think if it would be a good purchase in the upcoming January transfer window. But of course, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you are not on here. Make sure you hit the bell notification so far for every time I do upload. But without further ado, let's get straight into that. Of course, starting off with Dio Makano. And it was it, the official news from the report broke last night. Now, the first report publication to break it was, of course, Sports Build, of course, a German publication, relatively re reliable. Of course, we've known that Upamakano has been a long-term Arsenal target. Arsenal have been heavily interested in Dio Upamakano. They had a bid rejected back in the summer. They've been really interested in him. And of course, we do know he has a release clause of 100 million euros, which has been reduced to 80 million euros. So if a club wants to sign him, then of course, the release clause 80 million euros, according to the publication Sports Bill. Now, they're reporting that Chelsea have now been in, to, in contact and negotiations with Leipzig. They've been heavily interested in Dio Pamacano and could potentially hijack a move and go above Arsenal to sign Dio Pamacano. So when I questioned my source on this, he told me that the, the rumours and the, you know, the actual interest is legit. We are officially interested in him. Of course, we know Nathan Ake has a long-term injury and he could be ruled out until February. So, of course, that kind of rules him out. But regarding Dario Pamacano, Chelsea have been interested in him. You know, ball playing centre back, strong physical, very similar to Azuma. But of course, another French centre back with world class potential. Centre back that I would love at Chelsea. But I thought I give my thoughts, opinions going, you know, further detail of what my source mentioned. When I questioned him, he said, so far, what I know from inside regarding the board, basically, RB Leipzig are willing to sell Dio Upamakano in the January transfer window if the right amount of money comes. And it's looking like the fee is around 40 million euros. So it's half of what Bill's reporting. I trust my source because, of course, he's inside the club. He's more reliable. Of course, that is only a publication. 40 million euros is the rumoured fee for Dio Upamakano. And the two clubs, of course, are heavily interested are Chelsea and Arsenal. And, of course, Leipzig would prefer to sell to Chelsea because Chelsea are willing to pay the 40 million euros up front. Whereas Arsenal, of course, they have money, you know, money, monetary problems, issues. They haven't got the, the required funds. And therefore, if they did sign up for Meccano, they would sign him in instalments. Leipzig prefer the cash up front and Chelsea are willing to give the cash up front. Plus on top, up for Meccano would rather pick Chelsea over Arsenal because of course, we are in a Champions League, we can secure Champions League football, we can offer him Champions League football, and also he's more convinced by Frank Lampard's project at Chelsea as well, which in my opinion is promising. It is honestly promising. That's what I was told regarding Dio Pamacano. And um, give my thoughts and opinions on the player. For me, he's a, he's a terrific centre back. He's honestly a tank, he's a fantastic centre back. You know, there's a reason why Leipzig are top of the Bundesliga, of course. You can look at Werner, all his goals scored, you can look at Leipzig as a collective team. However, they've conceded not too many goals a season. Of course, Kanate and uh, Upamakano in that centre-back partnership, that French beast mode, fantastic. Of course, we have a lot of French players in the team that can help Upamakano gel and settle. And for me, he would be very good for Premier League. You know, he's got the physicality, he's strong, he's got the, the build and the physicality. He's a fantastic ball-playing centre-back, a commanding centre-back, a very young centre-back, so he hasn't got that too much experience. However, we have quite a few experience, maybe part of the next to Azuma. Imagine him next to Azuma, two big black tanks that no one can get past. His reading of the game is phenomenal. Interce interceptions, aerial balls, very, very tall, six foot three as well. An absolute solid, solid centre back and definitely a fantastic buy, especially for the fee of 40 million euros, which is what my source told me. For me, I think that's an absolute bargain. I would love him for that price. For me, I think that he's much better than Ake and he is a top, top quality centre back, which will elevate Chelsea's next level. You know, a replacement for Rudiger as an upper Meccano would be phenomenal. Honestly, he's a top, top centre back and it really would show that Chelsea are moving into the correct and positive direction. And for me, I would love upper Meccano at Chelsea. But leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Would you take Dio Pamacano at Chelsea and if you don't again leave me your thoughts opinions in the comment section uh, in the comment section below what other centre backs would you sign or do you think there's other positions in the team that, that need upgrading that you know take greater priority of course leave me your thoughts opinions in 
the comment section below. But getting into the second player, that is, of course, Jaden Sancho. Now, of course, I've mentioned him how many times on my channel. You guys probably getting sick and tired of it. However, it's positive. Yesterday, the Telegraph, they broke that Chelsea have emerged as the front runners for Jaden Sancho's signature. Now, I reported multiple times on my channel that my source, source told me Chelsea were front runners for a long time. However, actual public publications, especially English publications, just Telegraph, and they're reporting the same thing. They're reporting that Chelsea are officially the front runners for his signature, and it's fantastic news. It's fantastic news. We have moved ahead of Manchester United and Liverpool for his signature. A massive attraction, according to the publication, is that, of course, uh, Jaden Sancho grew up in South London, uh, Camberwell, and of course that is a massive attraction, Chelsea being in London, the best club in London, the club in London can afford his wages, afford him, of course we know he used to be a Chelsea fan, best mates are pretty much half the squad, you like to Tammy Abraham, Tomori, Mason Mount, Callum Tondoy, etc, etc, the attraction of Champions League football, the project of Lampard selling the elite project to return to become one of the big boys. Of course, it is a massive pull, massive attraction for Jaden Sancho. And basically, Telegraph reporting that Chelsea are emerging as the front runners and that a Pulisic type deal is on the cards for the Jan Chancellor window. I mentioned this to you guys months ago that the only realistic way we could sign Sancho is, of course, if it was a Pulisic type deal. Of course, Dortmund would not sell Sancho in Jan Chancellor window because, of course, it's mid season. You know, they're still fighting for the Bundesliga, they're still in the round of 16 of the Champions League, they have a lot to fight for. They're not going to sell their best asset, their best player, especially for a small price. So, of course, if we did pay him, we'd have to pay astronomical kinds, kinds of fee, which is not going to happen. Now, of course, Dortmund, we know, won around £120 million. And I heard that Chelsea are willing to pay £100 million plus £20 million in add-ons. Uh, of course, Pulisic type deal is very likely. So, of course, we'd secure the deal now. He would become a Chelsea player, but, of course, we'd loan him back to Borussia Dortmund, just like we did last year at Pulisic. And then he would spend the remainder of the five, six months at Dortmund's um, there and then he would join us in the summer. He'd have a full pre-season, get to know the squad, and he'd be ready and geared up to go for the following season. Now, of course, for me, this is great news. Of course, we've known the Chelsea have been long admirers of Sancho, and that you know we he has been a long-term Chelsea uh, priority. He has been a long-term target. So let's see how that that story develops. Of course, we know you know my thoughts been on Sancho, top top player, world-class potential. Would definitely elevate our team and upgrade our team on the wide hand side, especially on the right hand side as well. His goals and assists speak for itself. His breakout season last year uh, 16 goals, 14 assists, incredible goal scoring record, especially at the, at the time he was the age of 18. This season, being the age of 19, again, he's producing similar and even better numbers than he did last season. He's scoring against bigger teams as well. He's on his way to the top, and him and Sancho together are going to cause havoc in this team. So, Honestly, I'm looking forward to it. It's fantastic news. And yeah, hopefully we do secure Sancho in the Giant Chancellor winner. But let's just see what happens on that one. Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Do you think we're going to be securing Jaden Sancho in the Giant Chancellor winner as a politic dark deal? Or do you think we'll wait until the summer? Or do you believe that Chelsea won't sign Sancho at all? Again, leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. But getting to the last part of this video, and that is of course Roman Abramovich now of course fantastic news regarding him now care for you for reliable Twitter account a couple days ago reported that Roman Abramovich has potentially will potentially have his visa grant and he will be able to enter the UK to do business negotiations to be able to live and stay in the UK just like he was able to do before of course we know the political situation between Russia and the United Kingdom meant that Roman Abramovich was not allowed to enter the UK, his visa was stripped and he could not make any investments into Chelsea and of course since that has happened Chelsea have been on the decline, he hasn't had as much paying attention, as much interest, as much money injections, of course the stadium plans were halted as well, however it's great news, we have our, our owner, our King Roman, our Roman Empire that generally loves Chelsea and if he's able to be close to Chelsea, he's able to be more involved in the business negotiations, he's able to be involved more with the club, which means that it's positive news and good news for Chelsea fans, good news for us because it means that, you know, we could finally be heading into a correct, good direction and it's great news, you know, hopefully the news is true, it looks like his visa has been granted and um, of course he's not going to enter UK yet, hopefully in the remaining months, the upcoming months, once his visa has been granted, he will be allowed to enter the UK and make business negotiation. And for me, it's fantastic news. Very excited to hear about this. Got me gas, not going to lie. But leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Are you happy that Roman Bramage has his visa granted and that he's allowed to enter the UK? Yeah. But going to wrap up the Chelsea Transfer News Daily video there, guys. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you are not on here. Make sure you hit the bell notification for every time I do upload. And I'll see you guys for my next video. Peace.